Hi, I'm Jana Beam. Hip control and shoulder control are important. Um, this colt here, he's a four-year-old, but he's he's always wanted to work, but he's wanted to get a little little wishy-washy in the hind end. He's always he's always tried, done his job, but I've always had to reiterate, keep your hip up under you. And that is something that when I start those colts, I don't want them to come to the barrel and I don't want their shoulder pointing towards the barrel and I don't want their hip tucked to the out or pushed to the outside. Like, I don't want this, this is terrible. So I want their hip to the inside and their shoulder up. So when I go to make that next step, that shoulder comes up and he's soft in the face and he's soft through the rib cage. But at the same time, I have to keep his hip pushed to the inside. And I know this may sound really difficult and maybe a little too picky, whatever you want to call it, but it is one of my pet peeves. I want this horse to come up here, get on his hind end. Of course, slow work. I want him to back a step away, back, back him up into it just a step. But my next step, that shoulder right there should come up just like it did. And I shouldn't have to make it hard shouldn't have to force it. I just want him to lead off with that shoulder and push with the hind end because that's where your power comes from. Because when I'm in a run, I want to be able to literally come to this barrel, go to my horn, and that horse turn. And you notice how he got a little faster as he went through the turn. He's not getting chargy. He's driving off that barrel. And that's what I want my horses to do when they learn to finally run the pattern. I want it to be easy, but very efficient at the same time. But I have to have control of that shoulder to have control of that hip.